Good morning, Facebook, YouTube. What's up, guys? Today is May the 9th. I'm out here in the Brightwater subdivision out here in Snellville. I have been working in this community for many, many years since I started my heart, my carpet cleaning journey um, in, in the Gwinnett County area. And I have built up a great reputation for myself in this neighborhood because the client that I'm working for now, she was actually recommended to us from their community board. So I came out here actually last week and she's getting a lot of work done and actually Kevin was here yesterday He cleaned the carpet and he also cleaned some rugs and then he's going to be back to do some air duct cleaning and also some uh, granite countertop cleaning, but today I'm going to be doing the hardwood floor screen and recoat. I'll uh, show you guys what I'm going to be doing. It's a small job, 589 square feet, and actually Scobie is actually heading out to Roswell to do a nice size uh, screen and recoat, about 1,400 square feet that was recommended to us also by SNS Rug Cleaners out of Atlanta. Uh, Steven Stoney, they have uh, they're very very well known um, in the Atlanta area for cleaning. Uh, uh, fabrics and also area rugs. So let me show you guys what I'm going to be doing today. Um, this is a screen of recoat. The client, basically, like a lot of people, um, she said, Courtney, when I clean the floors, they look good, but then when it dries, they look dull. And again, that's the lack of protection on the floors um, where the original polyurethane has just worn off or it is wearing off and it needs to be reprotected. So this guy's floor, this floor is not. In bad shape it just lacks protection and that's what I'm gonna be doing today so we still need to get some good mechanical uh, abrasion to these floors so our new poly has something to hold on to so I'm going to be going with a satin finish so show you guys what I'm doing I got this dining room um, Kevin cleaned the stairs upstairs and then they put all the furniture in the living room so sometimes like so for example guys let me zoom in you see those scuff marks all right see those footprints See those scuff marks right there? That's a good indication that the floors um, need a, 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 a good recoating so it doesn't cause further damage. And then also, next thing you know, you have to get the floor sanded, all right? So I uh, got this hallway, this hallway, all right? The kitchen area over here. See the scuff marks, all right? Especially in the high traffic area, no finish on the floors. Finish is just worn off. And then going out here, see all those, see all those surface scratches? All right, so I'm gonna get all those out before I put the new finish back on. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Stay tuned. This is my little educational part. Yeah. Can you say you watch some of my videos, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. So, guys, I'm with my client. Thank you. So, what I was just showing her, you see this pass I came down? You see right there? Now, if you look really close, you can still see the uh, scuff marks. But if you look at that pass that I made, you don't see any scuff marks anymore because I'm knocking that old finish down and I'm also abrading the floor so it's ready for new finish. Yep. So I like, I don't mind my clients watching me because I like to educate them doing the pro, yes ma'am. I mean, you know, my thing is, I mean, your home, I want to make you feel comfortable. But you'd be surprised how many uh, contractors, they do not like people watching them. I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, I know everybody has their own reason. Like some guys say, Courtney, it makes me feel comfortable. Or uh, sometimes, yes, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, stay tuned. You have to remember, I don't care what you put on the floor, yeah. and we use really good polyurethanes, everything will eventually wear off. Especially if it's getting traffic. But the thing that makes most people finishes wear off faster is when they put those uh, like soaps yeah. on because those soaps actually break down the finish. Yeah. 
<laughs> hey, you see, you see how good your floors look, just under all that dirt that I removed. Yes, ma'am. All right, guys, uh, look at this. This is the difference between a dirty pad and a clean pad. So you see the difference? And I think I'm doing such a good job, my client just bought me lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a big difference, guys. Results are coming out amazing. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, these floors are prepped for new coating. Um, as you can see, guys, I cleaned the floor, screened the floors, um, then I dry, uh, uh, flat mop cleaned the floors, and then I vacuumed the floors, and then I flat mopped the floors again. Did a little color correction. Actually, you can't see it now, but there was a little missing color here. Um, and then over here, I added a little color over to this area. Um, but again, when I put the, new, the finish down, it's going to help blend that back. Um, this floor is natural, uh, as you guys see. Uh, in Georgia, we do a lot of red oak floors, so these are red oak floors. All right, guys, so uh, I'm going to wait till the, uh, uh, my client, oh, there they are right there. Her daughter's went to go get lunch, so I'm going to wait till they get in and um, everybody gets settled in their rooms. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start putting the first coat down, and then I'm going to take off, and I'm actually going to go run up to the supplier, um, get some pads for a big job that we have tomorrow, a uh, wax removal job. And uh, yeah, all right guys, stay tuned. All right guys, first coat is going down. All right, guys, beautiful day. Man, it's a gorgeous day today. So in here, all right, guys, the first coat. I'm ready for the second coat. Got my roller, my uh, trim pad ready, and my second coat of Aqua Pro. Let's go in here and take a look and look at the difference in these floors, guys. This is a nice looking, well protected, street free, scratch free floor. Look how good this floor look, guys unbelievable all right and this is why we stay so busy this is why we get referrals because of how we treat our clients the husband came down and I uh, actually gave me a compliment all righty had some uh, discoloration right here can't even see that anymore nice nice And also, that actually came out better as well. Uh, when I came and did the inspection, the consultation, that actually looks better. All right, guys. Actually, I just got a, um, a call from the job that Scobie's on. Client said that uh, Scobie is very professional. He's doing a great job. And uh, the movers came out, moved the furniture this morning. They was running a little bit behind, um, so it kind of put Scobie behind. Uh, but the client said, Courtney floors are looking great so scoby might almost be done with his job as well all right guys thanks again and actually this client is going to have us come back and do the granite countertops kevin actually clean and polishes granite countertops 
and they're also going to get their air ducts clean so that's another service that we offer as well all right youtube thanks again guys see you tomorrow we have a huge huge wax removal job tomorrow engineered floors um client was quoted thirty thousand dollars to replace the floors but we're going to go remove the wax from the floors and bring them back to their original state um and that ticket is about five thousand but they was people love they would rather pay that um to, um, to get the floors um replaced especially when it comes to engineered floors so we're going to be doing that tomorrow also with a ride along and then next week uh, we got some ride alongs coming in from out of state all right cool beautiful 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 all right guys see you in the next one also did in here